Hello and welcome back. <clears throat> Lovely Cancerian. This is going to be a Cancerian collective intuitive general message for Happy New Year 2024. And welcome in Cancerian. So if you have Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, the messages I might be speaking to you about are directed to the planets, the astrology. For a lot of you Cancerian, you're welcome to watch this reading. There may be parts that will resonate and there may not be parts, but let's talk. So right now, like I felt, you are putting up a hard exterior. You're on guard, okay? So for most of you, I feel that this was a very sober New Year's Eve. Let me call it that. But these cards are from Unrevealed Thoughts and Secrets. So I wanted to see what else because they I was felt drawn to them. So this could be how you're feeling right now or the person on your mind is feeling when it comes to <clears throat> your relationships. I feel this is us. So for those of you, I am a Cancer rising and I'm a Sun Gemini. Now we have Mars that's entering Capricorn on the 4th of July. I'm doing your reading today as Mercury stations direct. And Cancerian, now you can clearly see a new direction is here. That full moon <clears throat> that we had during the holidays, right before New Year's Eve, was very heavy. It's been a, t a long time for me to get through to your reading. It's taking my time, like I couldn't get through your hard exterior, Cancerian. The messages were totally leaving me confused, okay? So, very hard exterior, hard to read. We are hard to read. So, there's some kind of uh, emotional insecurity that's been here. But you, you come off hard, like I'm feeling here. So, you are, right, we're now Mars entering Capricorn, which is your opposite, right? It's your opposite, which is ruled by Saturn. It rules time. How do you measure time? Because it's been a long time. This has been a long time coming. It took a lot of tackling some big mountains here, right? I'm also getting the card that came out as I admit I was wrong. Wrong and strong. So this is accepting and being willing to forgive yourself now for any mistakes that were made along the way here, okay? Especially with the full moon and being willing to forgive others for the mistakes they have made. And now it's time, like I feel, for you to be grateful for the lessons that you had experienced in these energies. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You've become stronger. You've become wiser, okay? Like I feel Cancerian, we are water babies. We are empaths, okay? We always need that me time here, right? You have somebody here wishing that they were more like you, Cancerian, right? So... This is a feeling here of where others are seeing you how you how you are now in the public eye. People are wishing that they, they could be as strong and wise as you are, okay? So you're very strong on the outside, but within, like I feel, there's some kind of guilt that's here by admitting and accepting a part here that opens up for that 528 hertz frequency of love, right? Music healing, activation, true love. So let's see what's coming out. And it says, it's tough to share my feelings. These are bottled up emotions. These are, this is, these are unsaid words, okay? So like I feel with the sun in Capricorn, it feels like there's going to be some kind of showdown, okay, that's going on here, okay? Some kind of showdown. And there's somebody here that could be admitting to you that they were wrong. But they know that they see you as being stronger now. So let's see what the Moonology has. What do I want to go to first for Cancerian? I want to go to the Angels. Let's go to the Angels first. I want to slow down. So, hello and welcome back, Cancerian. If you're new, welcome in. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. These angel messages are for the collective sign of Cancerian. 
for some of you, like I feel it's Saturn is, is telling you, you're being led, okay, down your true path. And so when you come off as hard, okay, you're a spiritual warrior here, right? You're somebody who could be a homebody, someone who loves their own home, loves their own solitude here, right? And likes to keep their feelings to themselves. Like, it's tough for you. So there's someone here, a Cancerian specifically, that I'm dealing with. Like, I felt you come off, but the people know that you're hurting. Because people can't, people can see. The eyes are the windows of the soul. So, like, I feel, yeah, Celeste is here. Cancerian, for a lot of you, there could be a happy move that you're making in January. Congratulations. I'm hearing bon voyage. I'm hearing Celeste. It says a happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in that positive energy of newness. So let's talk about the 10th house of career, okay? This is your social circle, your status. For a lot of you, like I feel, your place of employment is about to receive some kind of a redo here. And it feels like for a lot of you, you're, you've are you got this place in the works. You're working on this ushering in. There's that, like I feel, there's a showdown on its way going on. Things behind the scene that you've been working on, it's time for that showdown. It's time for it to go happening, go time. It feels like you're putting an end to a long journey here. And a happy move is here. So happiness is here. A major wish come true is coming in for you, Cancerian. So let's see what else for Cancerian I have here. <clears throat> Cancerian. Like with this hard exterior and the tough cycle that you've experienced about sharing your feelings. Like, look, there it is. I'm <clears throat> seeing palm trees. For a lot of you, you could be near the palm trees, near the ocean, okay? Like I feel here, this is a time of me time. I feel that you need, like I feel beach babies, right? Beach babies, water babies. You see the, the, the palm trees, okay? It's a, it seems like for a lot of you, I'm hearing oasis, okay? You could be at a place like this right now. It says you are at the end of a cycle in your life. It's time to call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you. <clears throat> You're definitely getting ready. Number four, that full moon happened at four degrees. We're talking about our foundation now. This is a new structure, a new, a new foundation. The concrete is being poured here to something that that's emotionally fulfilling, emotionally brings in joy and, and a level of pride, pride and joy that comes together because of what you've built now. Like I'm feeling this end of this cycle. Think about this, Cancer, with that full moon for the holidays. By the way, I hope you're all doing well. I'm sending my love to each and one of you. Happy New Year. Wishing you blessings upon blessings. This is the year of success for us, Cancerians, 2024. It is where, <clears throat> Cancerian, it feels like blessings in your career and relationships, in your home life, the changes that you're making now, the advancement for your highest good. This is your highest destiny that's unfolding now. Your 10th house and your fourth house is where the eclipse season will be making these shifts now, okay? And it feels like with the rare transit also with Chiron conjuncting the North Node in your career sector in your 10th house, it's very rare. This is like a feeling here from the last time was 1969 that this happened. You're in alignment for a major elevation, a new beginning and coming into alignment, okay? There's room for expansion for your unique gifts and your skill sets. For a lot of you, you're stepping into, like I feel, your journey now where you, like I feel, it's a feeling here of letting down your guard also is what I'm picking up on, okay? Like it took, this journey was very difficult for you. You're ending a cycle from 15 to 20 years with Pluto moving into Aquarius, happening on the 21st of January. The momentum will pick up. There's a sudden move by being in, innovative, by being inventive. The, the feeling here is friendly. It's like goes from me to we, we the collective, right? 
So Jupiter is also going to station direct in your 11th house of joy and <clears throat> strength and great gains along your path in 2024. Great luck is here. This has to do with friendships, collaborations, some kind of a windfall, Cancerian, some kind of glow up that's happening. These could be perks, games, large groups of people connecting with an audience. This could be business partnerships, long-term partners, foreign, international travel for some of you here. And it feels like this is what's happening directly. Has to do with Jupiter stationing direct, which it went for New Year's, and it moved direct in the sign of Venus and Taurus. This is abundant blessings. Abundant. You got people here wishing that they were more like us, Cancerian. Like I feel here. Wow. Okay, I'm good. Now, Venus is going to support you. Okay, also here. On a professional level, it has to do with networking. This has to do with, yes, the timing is right for this new adventure. I have the name Isabella, Caressa, and Celeste. These names could be meanings. They could be you or someone you know. It says, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A very happy outcome follows your positive expectation. This is a time, like I feel, where you might be feeling vulnerable, right? It's hard to share your feelings out there, but you're putting yourself out there. It feels like you're being vulnerable now in, in January 2024, and you're exposing yourself, your journey, where you've come from. So this tells me there's a turning point that has a lot of potential now to bring in so much closer, closer support from the collective for us Cancerians. There's a shift that's here now, and it feels like this shift is going to happen in your relationships, facing the truth, right? Facing your truth, okay? <clears throat> it's saying, yeah, it's me. This card says, it's me and you against the world. It's been that way, but now, like I feel, we're moving into a we. It's going to be a feeling of no more me. It's about what's best for humanity with Pluto moving into Aquarius. So, like, I'm feeling it's, it's you and me against the world, babe. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody here had a lot of maturing to do, and all that they could do was run. So, the past here, you were dealing with a runner and a chaser, right? And this is someone that wants to reach out to you. They want to call you so bad, right? But together, like I felt when they were with you, was pure bliss. Somebody here wants to reach out and apologize, but you have somebody here, Cancerian, that's a runner. You have somebody here that doesn't have the courage. This is somebody here who doesn't have the confidence, okay? And like I felt they've missed an opportunity of a lifetime with you. And I feel right now, you're ending that cycle. So when it comes to your relationships, you are putting an end to that cycle. You are happily, excitedly moving forward to the next step. So for some of you, like I feel this could be pack your bags, call the U-Haul, get the movers on the line. Movement will be ushering in soon. Mars enters on the 4th of January, Capricorn. This is a renewal mindset renewed in your determinations. This transit is going to give you, Cancerian, the determination to climb mountains. Yeah. So start tackling those projects and get ready for this happy move. Wow, Cancerian. And the new moon in Capricorn will be the first new moon of 2024. It's going to be very productive. It's Capricorn uh, root Saturn ruled, right? And the moon is you, Cancerian. So this is a good time to start this new project that you have. It's a good time to work on your dreams and make your dreams come true now. So you have an audience that's watching you, right? Definitely. Let me get some water, Cancerian. And what do I want to say for Cancerian? Let's get the Moonology tonight. This is for my lovely collective Cancerian. What are the messages? that we need to hear. Let the moon be your guide. Let the moon be your guide. The moon is Luna. It is the mother. It is the feminine. It is the divine feminine, the one with the most empathy, okay? So there's a hard cycle that you're closing out now, my dears. 
and you just need to call upon the angels. You need to make it very clear to ask for help and the angels will help guide you along your way. Because now there's forward movement. Everything's gonna move forward into April, okay? So you have from now to April for these changes. So be ready for the change. And we wish to see the change in the world also. So like I feel, we need more peacemakers. We need more, like I feel, of peacemakers. So you're a light worker. For some of you, this is about your spirituality, your professional businesses. For some of you, this is about networking, being vulnerable, putting yourself out there, right? Exposing yourself, which is a, a turning point. And the timing is right to go for it now, okay? So, Cancerian, your commitments are being tested first quarter moon. So we're coming to the first quarter moon and this is gonna be coming in now this weekend is what I'm feeling. It feels like the new moon's gonna set it off. The new moon is where it's important to follow your routines at this time. Be patient, but like a feeling here, work smarter, not harder. This is all about your commitment in your career sector. For some of you, this is your commitment in any relationships, they're being tested. So don't let anyone provoke you. Someone could be provoking you. You're being tested or triggered. Someone could be triggering you. And you come off tough, but inside it still hurts, right? Because there's hurt here. You have a hard exterior, but inside it's all mushy gushy. Like I'm saying, I got my mushy gushy PJs, loungewear, my mushy gushy sweater, all cuddly under the blankies, okay? For some of you can't see in while wow. hold that vision fixed energy so the fixed energy tells me you're dedicated this is about your dedication is being tested hold that vision stay focused stay laser focused now is the time to focus 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 right because your thoughts become actions your words become actions that's what i'm hearing now mercury moving into uh capricorn will happen and enter on the 13th of this reading. It's time to get serious on that vision that you have, right? It's about your goals. It's a great time to put plans into action. Let your ambitions take over. You're determined to succeed. This is the vision that you have. This is what you're passionate about. This is the energy like I feel, don't be afraid where it comes to business and finance is concerned to take that risk, to take that chance, put yourself out there. That's what I'm hearing, put yourself out there, okay? What did I start with? What did I write the messages that I channeled? I said, yeah, there's a showdown going on here. So like I feel, you are seen. So you're putting yourself on social media, okay? This is putting yourself in the spotlight, being vulnerable. Wow, okay, show me more for Cancerian. Like the sun in Capricorn will conjunct Pluto in Capricorn on the 20th, right? Take one last look at how far you have come. Be brave, be smart. That is what I have for the 20th. Wherever you have to admit that maybe you were wrong also, right? To bring some kind of compromise. Take one last look at that and then recognize just how far you have come now. Be brave, be smart, be the bigger one. Be the bigger one, reach out, right? Reach out, make peace with some matter here so that it allows this timing now, like I feel in this commitment, Make peace with that person, place, or thing, okay? Reach out. Be the bigger person is what I'm hearing. Apologize. Yeah. No matter who is wrong. It's like one plus one equals five. I'm okay with that. We have a different outlook. We don't see the same vision. We don't see the same vision because you're holding a vision. You're emotionally holding onto the new vision of where we're moving into. And this is your commitment. So this is about your confidence and your key to success, Leo, okay? Leo, 
fire energy here. This is about a feeling of a weakness, okay? This could be a feeling here of, do you have the confidence now? This is about the confidence moving forward. And yes, the timing is right. <clears throat> Being vulnerable, it's time. You've been tough, lion, right? The Judah, right, lion. This is the king of the jungle. This is about what you're passionate about. You need to step out of your comfort zone. You can easily find a way now to be in a spotlight by the 29th when Mars and Capricorn will have a trine with Uranus in Taurus. Taurus can be stubborn, right? Step out of your comfort zone as you can easily find your way now to be in the spotlight, professional connections to get what you want. Go for it. It's the key to your success. Go for it. Release the negativity, scorpionic energy. There is that movement with Pluto that makes a transit now into your eighth house. Okay. So Pluto takes deep dives. It goes, it goes deep within the waters. I say this is like the bottom of the ocean, the sea. And this is about really diving deep now in the eighth house. These transits are going to be when it concerns to communication. So Pluto's moving into an air sign. It's moving into Aquarius. This is your eighth house. There's things you need to face now, right? Facing your insecurities, facing your fears, facing any feelings you might not be confident within yourself, right? This is about there's no, there's no perfection in, in the world. We're all equally whole and complete, but together, when you come together on this collective change, Pluto makes that transit. This is a feeling of think out of the box, right? Because this is a feeling of going from me to we, right? Because Leo can be an energy here of, of thinking about just you, but think about the collective transformation that we're undergoing. Now, with Gemini energy here being here, for a lot of you, your Gemini uh, placement, Gemini moon or Mercury in your Cancerian or Mercury with your Gemini, it feels like it's time. These are the answers that you need are coming. So it's very important, your key to communication to be productive, right? It's about your work ethic. It's about achieving a great goal and overcoming any blocks, okay? So highly creative, highly productive energy and communication is also here. So receiving that feedback, receiving that yes when it comes to a project. This can be the energy now that you're going to be experienced with Gemini is about communicating, networking, okay? It's also very skillful when it comes to your communication. And look where you are. First, no issue will reach resolution, cancer. So for some of you, you're a Cancer Gemini cusp. For some of you, you have Scorpio in your chart. But most of all, this is a time to give rather than take Virgo, right? So a lot of healing energy that's coming in here. This is about nurturing, right? Giving to yourself, equal give and take now, right? Making a choice with Gemini, all right? And definitely on a personal issue, Cancer, you are reaching success now, okay? This is about being led now on your true path. Yeah. And it's a time to give of your, of your gifts, your abilities. This is a feeling of empowerment that's coming in. Very much so. And it's time to take that leap when it comes to career. Queen of Pentacles, right? Gemini, Scorpio. Yeah, and Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Let's pull some cards from the tarot. I know this reading might go long. Anyways, oh, Cancerian, did you see that? Five of Cups. There's some disappointment. You see what I'm saying? There's a feeling of something here that you're feeling emotionally sensitive. There's some kind of I, a wrong or uh, it's about I admitting I was wrong, right? Somebody here, very much, you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm sorry, not no, that could be here also. You could be the one who's feeling very sensitive and you're looking down, right? Pick your chin up, Cancerian. If this is you, 
there's something here that you're feeling very sad about and you're in your emotions, okay? Five of Cups, something spilled over. It feels like there's that water, right? With that bridge to go over and there's there's a home that that looks like it's, it's not that far away. All you gotta do is get on that bridge, cross over and the Two of Cups will be standing right there but you just need to turn around. So you need to turn it around when it comes to a relationship. Two of Cups can be a soulmate. It doesn't have to be a lover. This could be uh, someone that you hold dear to your heart. And this is where we're admitting that we were wrong, right? Hierophant and Jupiter. Holy moly, holy schmoly. Jupiter, where did we say Jupiter is going? Jupiter is moving into your 11th house of joy. This is great gains. This is luck, friendships, collaborations, a windfall, a glow up. Perks coming in, gains, large groups of people, foreign countries, foreign lands. You are the high priestess or the high priestet, priest. The hierophant is here. Venus and Taurus. Now Venus and Jupiter are here. Now Taurus just went back. Think about this. Jupiter just went direct at five degrees. The number five, no coincidence in this reading, back home in Taurus. I'm not back home, back in Taurus. So this is your higher calling. This is your soul purpose, Jupiter. Jupiter is the card of expansion, growth, and destiny. This is your destiny. This is where you're headed now. So when it comes to your home life, your career, your family, your beliefs, your core beliefs, for a lot of you, your core beliefs now are based on spirituality. Jupiter is the guru, okay, here. This is the benevolent planet. This is also Venus and Taurus here. So it's about your reputation. Your reputation, yeah, very much so. Wow, wowza, wowza, wowza. Okay, Cancerian. Woo, foo, foo, foo. The connections are based on pioneers in that field that you have now. So you have people that want to work with you here. The answers that you need. This could be about the networking with others. There's some kind of a feeling of new partners, new people that come along to collaborate collaborate with. Learning new skills, uh, aligning body, mind, spirit here. This is about Mars energy. I'm feeling with the three of pentacles that's coming in now with the energy of Virgo here, right? It's about using our skill sets. Show me Cancerian's overall energy. Ten of pentacles. Pennies from heaven, basically a blessing pouring down on you. This is financial stability. You know, they say, if you're a parent figure like me, that when we're happy is when our children are happy and they're, at, they're successful and our families are celebrating that success by the wealthy, prosperous energy of ten of pentacles. This is that great gains. This is great luck. This is friendships, family support, collaborations, friends of the family. This is perks and gains, Cancerian. Ten of Pentacles. Congratulations. The energy here is definitely three generations of wealth. Ten of Pentacles. Feeling the success all around you. You know, this is also a feeling here of Earth, right? So, something here is changing. Tower moment. Oopsie daisy. This is about somebody's crown is getting knocked off here. There's some kind of a sudden change that's coming in. That's Mars and Scorpio. So, there's some kind of transformation when it's going on with your family dynamic here. Yeah. For some of you, you've been holding back for pentacles. So there is that feeling once again of Venus and Taurus, this feeling of admitting somebody here is going to admit that they were wrong, right? But they've been holding it back for pentacles. So something here that was held back, the universe steps in for this sudden change. But it feels like there's there's a support system that you have here when you're when this is happening. Because it says you're ending, right? It says you're ending that cycle. So there's a move. Uh, this could be a sudden tower moment. It can be a sudden change that you're making for some of you. But it's a happy move. Yeah, and the five of cups. 
Ace of Swords, and that's the truth. It's a new beginning, a fresh new start, Ace of Swords, which brings in that self-awareness, okay? Very aware now on this new path that takes. Whatever happened here where you're receiving a crowning, right? You're receiving that crowning when it comes to something here that was owed to you. So this could be out of the blue, this money comes in. Out of the blue, Ten of Pentacles, boom, alignment, activation, elevation, right? Ace of Swords, a gift from on high that brings in clarity. Yes, you got it. For some of you, like I feel, this is some kind of an energy here of a breakthrough. The Tower and the Ace of Swords, it tells me this is something here that's coming in that's going to bring in a breakthrough. Like if there was doubts of feelings of, you know, your hard work for Pentacles coming off hard, coming off like on the outside here, you know, somebody here was selfish when it came to something here. There was something here about or holding on too tightly for Pentacles. There's the moon. So the moon was a feeling here of there was things that you were holding on to when it came to your heart exterior. But there is a feeling now of communication because we have communication coming in. This is a communication here of not being stubborn and and making that making that move toward clear communication, which your crown comes back on now. The Ace of Swords tells me this was something here that was very fiery also. Like I felt it was a burden. This is some kind of thing that you're holding close to your chest. So it's something here that feels like a burden on your chest that you're getting ready to release. So I feel you letting go and releasing. That's what the tower's coming in. So you could clear your chest. So you could say something. Okay, that's what I feel. Yeah, and it's very clear now that this is for your highest good. So that's what the kind of conversation is like. This is very uh, clear, this is what's for your highest, best of your family, for your children, these changes that you're making. They're very successful, you know. There's a lot of releasing that negativity that you've been holding on to, okay. And you're finding some kind of resolution to a family dynamic, whether there was water under the bridge or making peace with a situation. You're reaching a personal level of resolving some kind of uh disappointment or regrets you guys i wrote down so many things for you here let's see what's coming in oh that card wanted to come out the four of cups it's very clear now the four of cups is also a feeling here of cancerian you know what you want and you know what you don't want you're very clear so it also feels like a feeling here of you're networking, but you're looking at the Three of Cups still standing. So that tells me you're, you're not accepting an offer, okay? And you're looking, and you don't see a bigger one's coming. <laughs> Ace of Cups, there's a bigger one. I was listening to that song, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking right into a whole new beginning in love. A whole new beginning in relationship. Nancy Wilson, and I can't think of the name. This is a melody. It's like a feeling of, I choose love. Whether this is love and compassion that you're drinking from the Holy Grail, but it feels like it's very clear true love is here. There's a change that happens. You're making that change. Mars in uh, Saturn here, Capricorn, Saturn, renewed determination. This transit, this change is you starting to, to tackle some kind of project, Ace of Swords. That gives you the clarity when this change comes in. It's like the universe is removing the obstacles. Four of Cups. You might not be seeing this big one coming in. There's something way better. Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning in life, in love. And it's true love that's coming in. There is true love, unconditional love that's being divinely guided to you. It's one step away. Eight of Cups. Remember the card that said, you're headed to a happy place. You know what you want now, Four of Cups. You're walking away from abandonment issues that you healed. Tower moment, Ten of Pentacles. You've done the work. 
And now it's time to walk into your destiny where love awaits you. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. So this is your Nine of Cups. A happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. <clears throat> it will usher in a positive new energy. Love is here for you, Ace of Cups. You're walking straight into a new path that's waiting for you now. Major change that's happening in January. Seven of Wands is here. So it's a feeling here of trying to protect what you've built, protecting yourself, being on guard. The wounded warrior right and you've been protecting yourself making it kind of hard for that ace of pentacles right the ace of pentacles is another feeling here of whatever's being offered to you it's a feeling here of you don't want it right so like a feeling here of whatever this is when it comes to an opportunity this could be a feeling here of you're you're moving to something bigger now you're making room to for something bigger if this is a career change that you were emotionally invested in for up to seven, eight years, you're headed towards a new career. Ace of Pentacles is coming from the hand of divine here. A big, big blessing is here. So look, Cancer, you already have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups on the table. Look where you're walking. This is a major cleaning, purification that you're happening. So you're having a major awakening, a spiritual awakening for some of you that gives you the clear crystal cl clarity. This is where the tower brings in. It brings in the money. It's like an explosion of money with the Ten of Pentacles, right? Money that just pours in from out of every direction on this new path. You're walking right into a destined turning point in your life with Jupiter. Jupiter entering once again our 11th house of joy prosperity and mental clarity is where you're going a windfall of great gains on this path Jupiter makes everything bigger so this path that you're walking on is about ready for emotional growth. For a lot of you, this is going to be an expansion on your spiritual journey. This place you're walking towards has financial gains. It's blessed. Jupiter, blessing you. And <laughs> this is a great reading. This is very rare aspects that are happening here for you with January. And I'm gonna leave the reading there. I just wanna peek, yeah judgment you're very direct queen of swords judgment you're making a very clear decision now you're cutting cords with the past here and there's a roberta renewal that's happening this is another saturn card you're answering the call for a lot of you you're a public speaker a therapist a teacher for some of you okay you speak your voice you're blowing the horns here like i feel the horns are being blown and with Jupiter here, beautiful energy here that you're making. But you're very clear where you're headed now. Your happiness is here. This is a major breakthrough when it comes to a home situation. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm a bit under the weather. So I'm in my jammies and I'm taking my time. So please have patience. But this is a lovely energy for you. I'm glad I waited. Have a blessed January 2024. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate them. They help this video to move in the algorithm. It, it's for someone out there. So we'll see you in the next Cancerian reading.